Good afternoon and welcome to AJ's Match Day Vlog for Car Short and Athletic. Uh, today, Car Short and Athletic are at home to Potters Bar Town. Um, so it should be an interesting game because Storm Dennis is hitting us as I speak to you now. So it's going to make the game very interesting later. Hopefully it will probably affect the game too much, just keep the ball on the ground. But anyway, um, yeah, so hopefully Car Short will follow on from the great 3-1 victory over second place Folkestone and Victor last, last week. And to get uh, and also get a bit of revenge on Potters Bar Town because um, in the uh, opening game of the season, in conditions similar to this, even though that was mid August, uh, Carshall and Athletic opened their season at Potters Bar and consequently lost 2 0. Um, didn't play great, didn't play well that game. Um, was handicapped for about, after about 30 minutes, uh, our goalkeeper B Bishop went off injured for concussion. And so he, we didn't have a, a goalkeeper on the bench. So Danny Papo went in between the sticks and um, you know, did a fine job as best he could. You know, did a couple of good saves. Um, but it, it wasn't to be. Uh, it was nil nil at half time. Uh, in the second half, uh, they just they got on top of it. And Bradley Sack scored in the first five minutes of the second half. And Josh Hutchinson scored later to take the, to keep the three points at Potter's Bar. So hopefully we can get some revenge for that today. Um, as for as I say, Carl Shorten's last result was a 3-1 win away to Folkestone last week. Uh, Potters Bar had a good 2-1 win over Hornchurch last week. Um, and as far as the league table goes, Carl Shorten and Fletcher are currently 5th in the playoff spot and Potters Bar are 12th. As for team news today for Carl Shorten, well, I think it's much the same as it was last week. We're missing two players, uh, Tommy Bradford, and Harry Ottaway, both still missing through injuries they've uh, picked up in recent games. So hopefully, you know, but we did, we did without them last week, so hopefully we can do, we can do the job without them today. But, um, but I think the main contender today is going to be this weather because, you know, the wind is blowing a real gal out there and the rain's only going to get heavier, so it's going to really test them today. Uh, lucky we play on a 3G pitch, otherwise it might have been called off. A lot of games have already been called off and probably still more will do before the three o'clock kickoffs. So, yep, that's it for now. Uh, I, might be do I might be doing a half-time chat because, well, you know the situation. That's why I'm doing this in my car outside my house. But I will be back at full time, probably again in my car outside my house, uh, doing the uh, roundup of the game. So hopefully I will see you then. Arriva Dirty. So here we are, back home now. It's finished Car Shorten Athletic 5, Potters Bar Town 1. So we gained some nice revenge for the opening day defeat they handed us uh, back in August. I mean, conditions not too similar than today, although today the wind was stronger and the rain was heavier. But anyway, Car Shorten went out for it for a start. Uh, yeah, 11 minutes gone, Luke Reed, centre back. Came up for ball and fired in low to make it 1-0 to the Robins to bag his first goal in Carshall and Colours this season. So that was good for him. Um, and we co continued, I mean, they, they went at us a little bit, had a bit of possession, but didn't really have the final ball to sort of cause the keeper any problems. Um, uh, but then on 32 minutes, uh, Ricky Kilboa made it 2-0 uh, after a great ball cross goal from Lewis White. Uh, the guy we got on loan from Dulwich, he was doing a great, great service for us at the moment. So uh, he put the fire ball across, and uh, Ricky Gabara fired it home to make it 2 0. So that's how it was at half time. Um, we deserved the 2 0 lead, played, you know, played very well, having to adapt to the conditions. It was difficult for both sides because that wind was blowing across the goal, wasn't really supporting anyone, it was just blowing right across the goal, so no one was really getting any benefits out of it. And when the rain came in, it just got worse and worse. But uh, we, we well done um, for two and a half time. So the second half uh, came straight out of the fire, straight out of the blocks again. Um, and 48 minutes, uh, Christy Patterson scored one. A lovely cross from Lewis White again. Flicked on to Ricky Cabrera, which found uh, Christy Patterson at the edge of the 18-yard box. And he fired it in the low shot that beat the keeper and made it 3 0. Uh, Carl Shorten were doing very well by this point, carried on pushing for the next goal, and it came four minutes later on 52 minutes. Uh, again, a centre back, Luke Reed, scores his second goal for the club this season, 
with a lovely left foot shot which went straight in the corner and the keeper stood no chance about so he done well not bad no goals he was obviously saving them for today but that was good so then that was uh that was four nil we were cruising by this time i mean pot's bar was sort of dead on their feet i mean they, they had sniffs but didn't really do anything um just after the hour omar karoma a uh, great individual goal won the ball in midfield beat one defender uh went one on one on goalkeeper ran the keeper and fired in low to make it cost short on five pots bar town nil so brilliant you know so you know fully deserved that we were that much better today um keegan cole pulled one back for uh pots bar on 72 minutes but we've never really in any danger of fucking this one up so you know you know we just can we we carried him right to the end um and we even you know we made a couple of changes and we even brought out the sub goalkeeper and brought him on the for the last 10 minutes just to give him some time you know so it was all good all fair so brilliant yeah so well happy well happy with that good performance in mean, very trying conditions i mean you can probably hear it now it's still blowing a massive gale out here and the rain's coming it's still in but um you know, we adapted to it a lot better than Potts Bar did, so all credit to the boys. I mean, it could have folded in that game in those conditions, but we didn't. We played really good, and with the rain on the uh, dry on the pitch as well, it makes the ball, it makes the pitch more playable, which is a good thing. One of the, these 3G pitches are much better when they've got a bit of wet, a bit of rain on them because they skip up and they they cause all sorts of problems. But uh, yeah, so that's it. That's it for this podcast or vlog. Um, yeah, very happy, very happy tonight. Yeah, so, and I think that result puts us up to third place. I think, although Hornchurch, I think, may have got a late winner against Merston, which might have kept us fourth. But with everyone else drawing, it was a, uh, yeah, very good. And we improved the goldiness a little bit as well. So it's always good. So, yeah, that's it. Up next for Car Shaw and Athletic is this Tuesday evening. We're uh, away, weather permitting, to East Thurrock United. So, all being well, the game being on, and me being able to make that from work, which I should do. Um, I will be. I will bring you another one of these vlogs from East Thurrock on Tuesday. But um, yeah, so happy today. It finished. Got Sean the Fleck five, Potters Bar Town one, and I'm absolutely delighted with that. So until Tuesday, a Reeve Dirty.